Hi YouTubers. Been looking on the on the internet here and a lot of these guys got some of these old Ford tractors. This twelve hundred ten is mine. And uh this one kinda I wouldn't say inherited the problem, but that's what happened. I brother-in-law's got it. You see it's pretty pretty rusted out. It's done more sitting than anything else. And things are just all decayed and corroded on it. I was looking at some of the problems that a lot of these guys are having with alternators and uh, actually hydraulics. It was minus 20 Fahrenheit out this morning and as you can see we're supposed to have another snowstorm coming uh, tomorrow night five to eight inches. At least it'll be up in the 30s by then they're saying. But this is only my source of snow plowing and had some problems with the charging system this light to the left right here is always staying on indicating no charge so right away I'm thinking alternator right <coughs> unfortunately I'm gonna find out later if this alternator original factory alternator that came off of it is any good because it was actually a wiring problem um, you can see on the back on all these how they label them I'll flip it around here so you can see it the right way basically four wires you have F N E and then your your hot post and uh, I took it off and you can see that the original one actually goes on the outside of that bracket as you move it over here this one uh, I just tried to take it and install it kind of Rob Peter to pay Paul thing I took it off of this 1210 and lo and behold it did end up working. Uh, I took this off just because this one was a little easier to get to with the manifold off. But you have, you know, different connectors. Obviously this one's a three prong with the hot. And This one is also a three wire with a hot. Here's your hot wire right here. But this one was mounted on a terminal on the old style. Because the old style was a two prong here, terminal, terminal. You have your numbers, or your letters, I'm sorry. You know, E, F, N, and hot post you can just make your own plug out of these single out of these singles right here just don't mix them up and uh, get it to plug in there good it's so cold it's stiff now the mounting brackets the spacing and everything on it was okay pulley size I don't know much about alternators and charging systems I don't know whether this I know has a its own internal regulator I don't know whether the old one did or not this one's only 35 amp coming off of that tractor the original one was a 63 amp so I'm just assuming I'm not gonna hurt nothing by only throwing 35 amps into this whole charging system. I wouldn't want to do it the other way around with that. I wouldn't want to put a 
a 63 amp on that tractor I don't know whether you know I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know whether it's gonna hurt it belt wires blow fuses you know whether it works hand in hand with the starter or, or however it goes but uh, right now it's minus 5 Fahrenheit and I'll tell you <clears throat> I actually tested the alternator through the battery negative post to hot and it wasn't showing a charge all it ended up being lo and behold there was an inline fuse and just for right now I eliminated the fuse it was so corroded yeah you know, I pulled it apart and the plastic broke and, and the uh, uh, it just fell apart completely so I, I'm just making direct contact and I figured out it did work and I'll pick up an inline fuse for it I think it's a 30 amp I could be wrong I'll find out I really don't have any manuals on any of this stuff I wish I did all you can do is surf the webby so let's see if this thing even fires up as you can see Here's your hot side and your negative and we're throwing about 10 volts Let's see what happens here go on baby I have to lay on the glow plugs forever these tractors they whew, even in the summertime I noticed you get down to you know 40 50 degrees and you still gotta run the glow plugs on these things to get them started but let's see what happens here if I lay on it long enough and turn the key backwards here she's gonna start I hope if not I have to put some heat on it but we're gonna give it a try here I know it takes a while to a good 30 seconds on this plug I hope Let's see what happens here again another thing while I'm heating this glow plug up I noticed uh, I had a hydraulic leak and they were telling me down at the Ford they all shipped it but this I'm trying to hold the camera here but this stick ran everything hydraulics and all it don't it's just for the transmission there's one hidden way down here underneath the steering column that's the one that runs your your hydraulics you just put regular tractor hydraulic in that 